Good morning, everyone. We had a great night's sleep. It cooled off last night. And we got a treat for you today. And I can't wait to show you. But we're going on a wildlife adventure. And you guys know we love wildlife. But first thing in the morning, before we even leave this place, these are coyotes. And you can see them ring-tailed pretty big. We've seen them throughout Central America, but they're over here raiding the trash. <laughs> they dragged it under the car. It looks like there's about seven or eight of them. <laughs> there's still one down in the rubbish bin over there, if you can see them. I think these guys are marsupials. In any event, look how cool they are. They got little pointed snouts. They're nocturnal. And their eyesight's terrible. Look at them. <laughs> they, they, got the, they got the rubbish under the cars. <laughs> and they saw me and they started to run. But then he's like, wait, there's more, there's more garbage in here. But anyway, as I was saying, we're going on a wildlife ride today. We love these. And this one is supposed to exceed what we saw in the Pantanal based on the reviews. So we're going to see some different animals today, hopefully. You never know what the nature is going to deliver. You never, ever know. So I wanted to show you guys these <laughs> while we still had a chance. But let's go on an adventure. minutes south of our campsite and the pavement ends. Now this section of road is, I don't know, I think it's probably six hours if you're driving a normal speed, but these roads tend to be washboard and in our van we can't go too fast. But right up here starts a section of this road that everyone calls Ant Eater Road. So we are looking for ant eaters and of course, anything else. Right away, we're spotting lots of birds. Lots of uh, birds flying in and out of trees, different colors, different types. Some of these birds that we've always called them worm birds. I don't know their technical name, but these have some orange shades to them and they're really pretty. This is gonna be a nice drive. But remember, the goal is an anteater. Look at this little heron. So cool. He's got little tufts over his head. His beak. his beak. There's a lot of these little punk rocker birds down here of different kinds. They have that little tuft of hair. Early in the morning, guys, and the birds are out like mad. As we're driving down Anteater Road, I would say we're probably about five miles into the drive. And on both sides, we have farmers. Sometimes it's tree farmers, sometimes it's cattle ranchers. But so far, there's been a lot of eucalyptus trees, and cows, and sheep. Man is on the dash helping us spot the wildlife and the terrain has definitely changed we're in more of a foresty area kind of a scrubby forested area i should say that it's a bit overcast today for sure and a little bit cooler snow's talking about turning the heat we're riding with the windows down on this dirt road she has taken over driving duties i was not doing a good job of putting us on the wildlife so let's hope the driver changes, changed our luck. It's been a little bit of a slow morning. All right, Snow's driving has not changed our luck just yet. It's a slow morning. I feel like we're in anteater territory, but we're yet to spot one. There's a lot of cows. Even though we're not spotting wildlife, it is fascinating to see all the different flora, the different trees, the different shrubs and plants, and things like that. I think I mentioned it earlier, but it's kind of a scrubby forest. 
All right, we have spotted some smaller toucans that have the maroon on them. I think they're kind of like the ones we saw uh, back in Guatemala at Tikal. But they've flown into the thick part. Kurt's gonna walk up and see if he can find them. We're trying, guys. It's just not going our way today. Okay. Kurt walked up ahead and I eased up really slow in the van. I came around the curve. He seems to have the tripod and the camera focused on something. I don't know what he got. So we've been seeing these little black and white birds swarming around, but we haven't been able to get one yet. But there was one that just went from that fence post to the tree. Kurt's gonna hop out see if he can get a better look at them. Still have not spotted the elusive anteater. We are not giving up. That's why we're here and we're gonna keep trying. So look at this beautiful guy that just landed right next to us on this road. Macaws everywhere out here. Parrots. Oh, he's so pretty. Still driving, still looking for the elusive anteater. If you haven't been following along on our whole journey, we have been actively looking for anteaters and tapirs since Nicaragua. And we have, we've seen one anteater in the wild. We have seen one tapir at the Amazon rescue shelter in Peru. So we will keep looking, but We've spotted a deer for now. Kurt's zooming in on him, but from here it looks like he might have some horns. Antlers, I mean. <laughs> I pulled out my binoculars. He's definitely got a nice set of antlers. And uh, Kurt moved back a ways, and I think he got a better shot of him right about the time he took off and ran a little bit farther away. He's a pretty one, that's for sure. We've spotted a toucan in this tree. For once, we might be able to get him. Let's see. All we have is nothing. Sometimes nothing's all.
No entiendo. No Portuguese. <laughs> English. English, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Finally, we got a good shot of the toucans here in Brazil. We've seen them. We've shown you little bits and pieces of them, but we got them. These guys are elusive, but look how beautiful they are. They have like a white collar and then a bright orange beak, and their beak is giant. These are maybe the biggest toucans we've seen. So cool. I'm so glad we finally got them for you guys. G is watching birds out of his side of the window. Vanna still on the dash taking her little nap. Gee, gee, what do you think about this place? It's pretty cool. Snow's out there. She's on some cool herons. The ones we call the, uh, we call them cowbird, the colorful cowbirds. They're like an egret. And then there's another one that's got like a fluffy yeah. hair head. He's got, but he's got it smoothed down, but it's, it's like he's got a toupee on. <laughs> he's got a slick back toupee. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, what an exciting day, guys. A lot of birds. We haven't seen a lot of mammals. We did see a deer. Yeah. And, uh, but idiot. we are on the lookout. We have literally just pulled over on the side of the road. Opened up the door for the kitties so they can hear all the birds. Chef Kurt is in the kitchen. What you got going on back there? Uh, we're going to have a little sausage, onion, and pepper tacos. There you go. It's always nice to have your house with you. Pull over and eat lunch. Right, Vanna? Yeah? What you doing? <laughs> What do you think, Snow? Really, really, really tasty. The little tiny green zucchinis are yummy. Quick, easy, somewhat healthy lunch. Out here in the middle of nowhere, we came up on an area that's dense with a few small farms and a pool hall. <laughs> Bardo Carlinho. Kurt has gone up there. He's grabbing us a couple of sodas and bags of chips because we're going to be out here for a day or two. So, some emergency snacks. In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Love it. We have spotted capybaras. Kurt has walked up there. Oh, they're running from you. They're running from you. They're running. Oh, there's a ton of them. Oh, our plan for Kurt to sneak up on him did not work. <laughs> Man, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's at least 15 of them. Oh, they're so cool. Here they go. I hope y'all can see them. Kurt has not given up. He's still tracking the capybaras. We stopped because we saw two cans. We were getting the two cans with the big camera when the van got buzzed by macaws, the dark blue ones with the yellow eyes. And then they landed in a tree and scared out the blue and yellow macaws that flew across the road. There are like macaws and two cans everywhere here. It's crazy. We just spotted a Rhea. Now I think this is the smaller one. There's two different kinds. A big one and a small one. This is the smaller one, I think. But it is just the wildlife out here is off the charts. We're so excited and giddy. We're like little kids. We keep spotting all these different animals. Yellow trees, pink trees, 
normal green trees. Dead trees full of toucans. Kurt by the fence line getting them. So it's getting late in the day. It's four o'clock, prime time, animal watching time. And we're crossing over the river. We're about an hour from our camp spot. And trust me, we are not in a hurry. We are having a blast spotting wildlife. I think snow Kurt, might. Kurt does not know this. It's not wildlife, but it is the brightest, biggest, pinkest tree I've ever seen right over here as we're crossing the bridge. Look at it. Hopefully it showed up for you guys. I'm gonna hand you back to Kurt because I'm driving. We crossed the river. We crossed the river. Our camp spot is supposed to be by the river. We've seen a few more capybaras, but we still have yet to see the elusive anteater. I can't say that we're disappointed because we've seen so much stuff, but we still want to see an anteater really bad. Okay. He's far out there, but we have confirmed with the binoculars that we have spotted an anteater. Kurt is out doing the best he can to get some footage of him, but he's, he's 200 yards away. But we'll at least get a little glimpse of him. Anteater Road did not let us down completely. Not that we could be let down on a road like this, it's amazing. But this is a giant anteater. Yeah, it is an anteater, no doubt about it. You able to get him at all, Curdy? All right, y'all are seeing an anteater right now. Kurt has climbed the fence and he is going out there to get a better look at this anteater for you guys. Ha! Huh. One thing I don't think we've told you is this many cows that are down here and this mile, there's so many miles and miles of fence line, but very, very rarely is it barbed wire. So fairly easy fence for Kurt to scale. He's headed out there. I literally cannot believe how close Kurt is to this anteater. The anteater is literally walking right up to him. Just walking right by him. Oh my. Oh, how cool is that? is hustling it back to the van. I cannot wait to hear about this. He's going to be flipping out like a little kid at Christmas. I think he was like five feet from the anteater. It, this is freaking incredible. He's going to flip out when he comes back to tell us about it. That thing was magnificent and beyond beautiful. It's hair you could just see 
and like flowing. <laughs> and they must not have very good hearing because I got like yeah, I had right saw. next to him. I could hear him scratching the ground. Uh. And then after he would like eat the ants, as he's walking off, he's wiping his snout trying uh. to get the ants off from biting him. Uh. And then I tried to vlog to you guys. Yeah. And then all of a sudden. He took off. We saw him take off. off. Oh. oh, it was beautiful. Oh. Uh, all right. There are definitely anteaters on Anteater Road. Yes. Confirmed. Yes. All right. Let's get on the move. How cool was that? Gonna lie. I cannot contain my excitement, but you guys can see the sun is going down over there through the trees. But that. That right there was talk about wildlife. Wow, I was so close. Uh, it was just a phenomenal experience, guys. We just came on to another family of capybaras, and these guys are gonna run. They're not hard of hearing or hard of smelling. They're gonna run when I approach them. But I'm gonna walk up here because I want you to see them. There's probably about, I don't know, 20 of them, including babies. So they're about to go. Let's watch these guys run off into the sunset. Watch these guys. Look at them. <laughs> How magical is this place, guys? Look at that. Wow. So, guys, Ant Eater Road did not let us down. There are parrots flying by. They're beautiful. But the sun is going down. We have found a place literally right on the side of the road in front of a farm that we're gonna call home for the night. Look at that amazing sunset back there. This is where we're gonna leave you guys. We will pick you back up in the morning in the next video. Cheers guys, see you in a few days. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys!